Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Seth and I am a freelance scenic designer and concept artist in the theater and themed entertainment industries. And today we will be going over the basics of Procreate. We will quickly kind of go over all the menus and the functions that you need to know to get started. And hopefully by the end of this video, you have a working knowledge of the entire interface and feel more confident in navigating the program. So without further ado, let's go ahead and grab our iPads and let's get straight into it. So when you open Procreate, if you tap the word Procreate in the top left corner here, you will be greeted by this lovely splash screen that has the Procreate logo. It will also show you your version that you're working on and there's two buttons at the bottom. So quickly, these buttons are the Restore Example Artworks button that will restore the artwork that comes native to the program. So there's a couple pieces by artists that come in the program when you first start, it'll bring those back. If you hit start gallery recovery, this will recover any of your artwork that's saved to the cloud, say if you download Procreate onto a new device. So now we're gonna hop into the gallery. This is your main sort of hub of the program. It is where you will store your artwork. This is where you will organize things. This is also where you will start your artwork as well. So your gallery consists of stacks of artwork and individual pieces of artwork. So a stack of artwork is basically like a folder of artwork. It will store a bunch of pieces, say if you're working on a project in one place. An individual art piece will just show up as a preview. You can just tap it, it will open up your art and you can start drawing. And quickly before we move on, let me show you some gestures. So if you're in your gallery and you wanna preview your artwork, simply pinch to zoom out on the piece of art, it will show a preview. And you can swipe along to see previews of your artwork before you hop in and start actually creating. So next we're going to start talking about select, import, and photo over at the top right. So basically once you hit select, you have the option to select multiple pieces of art or stacks and do a bunch of things. So you can do things like preview your artwork, share it, duplicate it, or delete it all together. Next, we have the import function. So here you can import files from your device or from your iCloud straight into Procreate and start artwork from there. You can do the same with your Photos app. Next, if you hit the plus button here, this is where you create a new canvas. Procreate comes with a few already kind of predetermined canvases for you at the top here. But once you make your own, they will start to populate at the bottom of that list. So you can see I have a bunch of untitled canvases here. So if you wanna create your own custom canvas, hit the canvas icon at the top right here. It will open up this new menu where you can adjust a bunch of things like the dimensions, your DPI, your color profile to create your own custom canvas. So for the rest of the tutorial, I will be using a screen size canvas. So I'm just gonna hit screen size and it's gonna open up a canvas that is the size of my iPad screen. So once you hit that new canvas, it will open up a new interface and this is where you will draw and create your actual artwork. A couple quick gestures to know about navigating your canvas, pinch to zoom in and out. You can also pinch with two fingers to rotate. And if your canvas is really small, you wanna restore it back to the size of your screen, go ahead and do a quick pinch to zoom in. It will expand your canvas for you. So at the top left here, we're gonna hop into our actions menu. That's the little wrench icon. Within this menu, there are a bunch of sub menus that basically allow you to do a bunch of things with the program. So first we have add, there's a canvas menu, we have share, video, preferences, and a help icon as well that has a bunch of helpful tools from Procreate. So here in the add menu, you can do things like insert a file, insert photos, cut, copy, paste, things like that. In our canvas menu here, you can do things like crop and resize your canvas after you've already made it. You can turn on a drawing guide, like a grid or a perspective, even add a reference image into your artwork. In the share menu, you can do things like share your artwork as a Procreate file, PSD, or a PNG. You can even share individual layers as PDFs as well. And here in the video menu, you can simply export your time-lapse videos for things like your social media or your website. Next up, we have our preferences menu. This is where you can adjust a bunch of settings in the program to tailor the program to how you like to work and we'll dive deeper into preferences in a different video. 
And here in the help menu, you can find a bunch of helpful tools from the creators of Procreate. Now, before we cover the rest of these, we're gonna hop over to the other side of our menu and we're gonna to go to the brush library. So here in the brush library, you will see all the brushes you need to create any type of art that you wanna create. Now, one thing I love about Procreate is it comes loaded with a bunch of great brushes for you to use. And these brushes are grouped by style. So say if I wanna do things like inking or airbrush or some, create something that looks more industrial, I can click into that category and choose a brush to work from. To create your own custom brush in Procreate, hit the plus icon and it will open up the brush studio. And in this studio, you will find a bunch of different settings and attributes that you can change that will affect how your brush behaves on the canvas. And to make it simple, every brush here is comprised of a shape and or a grain. So if you tap the colored circle in your top right hand corner, that will open up your color menu. And in this color menu, you will see your color picker. It will also display your history of colors that you've used and you have the option to add a color palette for you to work from at the bottom. And at the bottom of this color menu, you will see a couple options to display your color picker. I like to use the classic version. Once you hit the palette icon, it will open up a new menu where you can select from preloaded palettes or you can create your own by hitting the plus in the corner. So next we're gonna talk about layers. So layers basically help you organize your artwork as you create. You can do things like turn your layers on and off by hitting that little check mark. You can hit the plus symbol here to add as many layers as you need to in your canvas. And you can swipe left on the layer to do things like lock, duplicate, or delete that layer. And to show you the rest of the features in Procreate, I'm quickly going to add three colors to three different layers. Like I said, layers help you organize your artwork. As you can see, these layers are layered on top of each other. I can do things like turn it on and off. I can even move layers around to adjust where they sit on top of other colors. So right here, if I want the green under the purple, I'll simply move layer three under layer one. If you tap the little N here, you will open up your blend modes and you can think of blend modes as like camera filters. So basically you can adjust how your layer appears and interacts with different layers around it. In this menu, you will also find an opacity slider where you can adjust the opacity of the layer as well. Next, we have the smudge tool, which is this little finger icon up here. And you can smudge with any brush that is in your brush library. So you can pick a more stylized brush or a simple brush to smudge with. I'm gonna select a round brush here and smudge with that. And a quick thing to note is that all your colors do have to be on the same layer if you wanna smudge them together. Next up, we're gonna to go to our eraser tool. It works just the same as the smudge. You can select any brush in your library to erase with. You can even adjust the size and opacity and then you simply erase. Speaking of size and opacity, this is our size and opacity toolbar. Simply move that slider up and down to select your size. If you have a size that you like to use a lot, hit that plus mark, it will save a little tick mark there, which is basically like bookmarking that size. So you can always come back to it. This works the same for opacity as well. There's also a square toggle in the center of these sliders that can be set to anything you want it to be set to. I have mine set as a quick menu that allows me to adjust my entire canvas very quickly. And here at the bottom, we have our undo and redo buttons. Next, we're gonna move on to our adjustments menu. And you can think of these adjustments as camera filters for your artwork. There's a bunch of different options here like hue, saturation, brightness, curves, 
You can even add a blur, add noise, the list goes on. So for instance, when I hit the hue and saturation, it will bring up a menu here at the bottom where I can adjust the hue, the saturation, and the brightness. Each option here will have a different menu. So once you click it, your menu will appear and you can adjust. Next up, we have our selection tool, which is the little squiggly icon. Once you hit that, it will open up a menu down at the bottom of your canvas where you have a bunch of different ways you can select objects. So automatic works like your magic wand. It will select all the pixels of the same color. You have freehand, rectangular, and ellipse. And once you make your selection, there's a couple options. You can do things like add to your selection, remove from your selection, invert it, copy and paste it, or fill it with a different color. And to show you the next tool, I'm gonna to quickly make a rectangular selection. And last up, we have our move tool. So once you make a selection, you can move that selection around using this tool. You can do things like move it freeform, move it uniformly, distort it, or warp it. So here's the uniform. Distort allows you to grab a pinch point and move that point around. And warp allows you to make a really cool shape or some funky shape with your selection. And once you make that selection there are once again options at the bottom where you can flip that selection horizontally, vertically, rotate it 45 degrees, and other options as well. You can even reset it if you made the wrong adjustment to your selection. And we are back in the gallery. So that is a quick overview of the Procreate basics and everything you kind of need to know to get started making art in the program. Um, feel free to follow me on my social media. All that will be down below. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to like it and consider subscribing. I will see you guys in the next video where we will dive deeper into all the specific menus and like the functions and features of the program. So I'll see you guys soon.